Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to Five Minutes with Phil, the very first Five Minutes with Phil of 2023. And I'm glad you are with me here today. Thanks for joining me. Um, right from, let, let's, just, let's just say this at the beginning of the year. If there is somebody that you care about that you think could benefit from one of these Five Minutes with Phil recordings one of these sessions then by all means um, like subscribe share tag whatever you got to do on YouTube or on Facebook go for it and uh, let, let's get the word out there uh, and again it's not to draw any attention to us okay we just want to we want to bless your friends and we want to bless your loved ones. So if we can do that, that would be fantastic. Okay, now let's kick off the new year uh, from the book of Isaiah. And I think that this scripture will be a blessing to you here today. Some good guidelines to go by and some good things to remember as we go through this new year. So take a look at the screen with me. Isaiah 43 beginning in verse 18 and going to 19. And here's what it says. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. All right. Uh, what's that mean? Okay. Well, we touched on this a little bit last week, and I want to I want to touch on it again. Um, I don't think that we need to dwell in the past. Some of us uh, we might have had a pretty uh, good 2022. Others of us had a kind of a rough one. Um, wherever you fall into that, uh, I think uh, the scripture reminds us to not dwell there, uh, to forget about the past, or as or as my Italian friends would say, forget about it. <laughs> that was for rich. Uh, so don't dwell on the past. Instead, I think the Lord would remind us again, like he did in this verse, that God wants to do a new thing in your life. And what is that new thing that God might want to do in you? It could be uh, spiritual growth like you've never had before. It could be um, some... Uh, uh, opportunity to minister to somebody like you've never experienced before. Uh, it really could be a lot of things. And uh, as a pastor, that excites me to see the people that I love whom God's given me the pleasure to be able to uh, to serve, uh, to, to be able to see them used by God in so many different ways. And so what 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 might God be saying to you? And the, we get this little reminder um in, in the last verse that we just read, it says, uh, I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. A way in the wilderness. Um, that tells me that God gives us direction. So if, if you're in the midst of a wilderness or if you're in the midst of some kind of journey and you're wondering uh, just how it's going to turn out, you don't know which way to go, uh, the Lord is a, a, a God who does not operate within confusion. He loves to give direction to his children. And so God's not trying to set you up for failure. He will make a way in the wilderness for you. And that's good to know as we go into a brand new year. He also talks about uh, providing streams in the wasteland. Um, that tells me that God wants to nourish us or refresh us as we uh, as we serve Him and as we grow in Him. That uh, it's not all about what I can do to get strength, but it's what the Lord does for me that is my source of strength. He's my source of strength, not my not my willpower, not my giftings, not my talents but he's my source of strength. And so I'd ask you today, what new thing do you think God wants to do in your life in 2023? 
Well, I do know this, that whatever he chooses to do in you, he will give you the direction that you need to get there, and he will provide you with the strength and the sustainability to meet that vision and that direction that he gives you. And that is a great way to start 2023. We love you. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me. And Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.